Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a faithful follower of Christ. And yes, we bought a fire truck. The Myerses are on fire. The Myers are on fire. The Myers. Um, okay. I made a three minute video for my mom and my mother-in-law to show them the fire truck. And then I thought I'd like to show you all. Terry, <laughs> Terry, uh, Terry, I've got you in mind because you've said before you like to see little glimpses of our farm life. And this is, this is a, a brand new glimpse. Um, to answer any questions right off the bat, if you have any, I might have a couple. If I saw somebody bought a fire truck, um, number one, why, why did we buy a fire truck? Because we're going to use the truck, not the bed. We might do something creative with the bed, but we're going to use the truck, which is a two ton truck and it's four doors and we're going to put in a bench seat in the back. Um, my husband's been looking for them that has four seat belts and then we'll put a little floater seat in the middle that has a seat belt. So that will be seven seat belts so that all seven of us can travel together when we deliver bulls, um, down South. So quite often we run either loads of cattle or typically loads of bulls because we sell Charlotte bulls annually. If anybody needs a bull, let us know. Um, so now we can all go as a family and this two ton truck will be able to haul a cattle trailer. So I'll show a little clip at the very, very, very end of the ultimate goal. We're going to leave it red. It's so nice. We're going to leave it red. Red. We're gonna leave it bright red. So we will probably do. We said, should we get a? Should we put the bed on it to match the red? No. And I think black might be a little boring. So we're gonna do. Um, what's that called? Uh, diamond plate. Diamond plate. So it's gonna be red and silver. Um, okay. That's why. That's why we we're gonna use the truck of it for uh, cattle hauling. Um, where we got it from govdeals.com, which is where we got our, uh, we have a bus. Again, we bought it for the truck of it. And um, we have basketball goals that came out of Mississippi State University that we also got off govdeals.com. So it's an auction. So it's all auctioned. This particular fire truck we we prayed for and about because we, we pray often. Greg and I pray every single morning that God gives us um, wisdom and discernment and leads us and guides us. And you know, if it's, if Lord, if you want us to help, if you want us to get this fire truck, we, we, we prayed that he would help us get it and we got it and we got a really, really good deal on it. Such a good deal. I'm going to call it a God deal. Um, so that's that. Also, here is what I'm eating. You're going to hear me say in this three minute video, you're going to hear me say, um, you're going to hear me say, I, I ran home and I have just enough time to run in and get something to eat. I wanna show you what I got to eat. So this is kinda of like a little sneak peek into my 40 day fast. It's going super awesome. It's going awesomely. Um, here's what I'm eating. I grabbed rice cakes. I've never done this before, but it's working. It's a winner, it's a keeper. I grabbed rice cakes and put some um, salami and turkey on them, heated it up in the microwave and then put hummus on top. So since I have kicked dairy to the curb, for these 40 days and maybe beyond. Um, I now use hummus like on sandwiches. I use hummus and I've also been using just plain avocado instead of mayonnaise, which that doesn't even make sense. That's not a swap. The mayonnaise I'm avoiding because I'm going to make my own because I'm avoiding this is a whole nother deal. It's not even part of my 16 things. I'm avoiding um, seed oils. No soybean oil for me. Um, and that's what most mayonnaises are, except for Primal Kitchen. And there's a handful that are actually avocado or extra virgin olive oil mayonnaises. Um, they are so much more expensive. Um, so I'm going to try and make my own. Um, anyways, uh, oh, I'm really using the hummus and the avocado in place of cheese. Thank you. That's, there we go. That's what that was. Um, I also grabbed a banana and a pepper, a yellow pepper. I knew I had some in the refrigerator. They get ready to go bad. You know how they get all wrinkly and I'm going to eat this pepper like an apple. All right. Here's what I ate. Here's what I'm eating. 
this deliciousness that when I decided I was going to show you, I quit eating it and I was tempted to keep eating it. It's so delicious. So rice cakes, plain, lightly salted. Look at the ingredients. If they're not plain or lightly salted, they have a paragraph of ingredients. If they're plain, they just say brown rice whole grain brown rice. Okay, that's some plain hummus, turkey, salami. I heated that up. Look at that. It gets all crispy. It's so good. Um, this, that's a banana that I ate. Mom, I'm not even going to throw this on my dirty floor. I was going to do that to be funny, but I don't want to. I'd rather use that Walmart bag right there. I keep a bunch of Walmart bags right, right there. I keep Walmart bags at my fingertips and we just fill them. Um, sometimes I come out here and there's 10 Walmart bags full of trash, but that's so much better than the contents of 10 Walmart bags all over my car. Um, hang on. I need to talk to this principal about my kids. Okay. So my sandwich, my yellow pepper that I'm literally going to eat like an apple. Um, Mary, Mary eats oranges like apples, peeled oranges. And one more thing. For anybody that cares uh, I went to the doctor and since uh, I went to the doctor because of my ears come to find out I've got an issue where it's like my ears constantly feel like they need to pop but it's common I just need to take Flonase blah 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 I won't bore you but um, with the details here but it's called eustachian tube dysfunction it's just that stuffy ear feeling that was really concerning me. I thought I was losing my hearing. I'm not. But while I was there, I asked her so many things like, now that I'm off dairy, do I need to, do I need to take calcium? Just if anybody's interested. She said, no, not yet. You're doing good. You're 41. You still have estrogen. Um, your body still produces estrogen. If She said, when you're older and you don't produce estrogen anymore, then yes, you probably want to keep an eye on that. Um, and I asked her if my kid can take zinc. And she said, yes, anybody over 12 can take zinc. So my 17-year-old that might want to take it for acne is welcome to take 50 milligrams um, and then 500 to 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C every day to help absorb the zinc. There are some random tidbits for you. Without further ado, we bought a fire truck. Check it out. That's it. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm running in the house. I've just got a couple minutes to grab something to eat before I pick the kids up from school, but I want you all to see something. Vicki, you've seen it, I'm sure. So, you know how little boys play with toys and then they get older and buy grown-up versions of those toys like tractors and trucks. Greg, mom, I told you we were going to do this. Greg did it. He bought a fire truck. And Vicki, mom, doesn't it seem like people driving by probably think our house is on fire? Look at this awesome fire truck. It is really nice. Okay, mom, I'm gonna show it to you very quickly. Um, but Vicki, this was so funny, mom and Vicki. The other night, Greg just pulled up and and all the kids went, came running. We forgot we had not told the girls anything about us getting a fire truck. They could not believe it. This was last night. And Clara woke up this morning and ran outside because she thought she dreamt that we had a fire truck. She, um, we, we went for a ride in it last night and she got to blow the horn and all this. Um, and she said, I just, I woke up and I thought, I cannot, did we really, have, do we really have a fire truck? And she said, this is like something out of a storybook. A family with five kids has a fire truck. So sweet. Okay, it's really, really, really nice and in good shape. And Greg said, there's no reason other than um, God that we should have gotten this for what we paid for it for. Um, because it, we got it for... I don't know how much, but like maybe 7,000 and other ones just like it, we're going for 21,000. So nice. This great big two ton truck. Now this is what was cracking us all up. It has everything. It has ladders. It has hooks. Um, it has a hose. 
It has tons of just all sorts of stuff. It's, I don't know what we were thinking. Uh, we shouldn't, I guess not be, maybe we shouldn't be so surprised, but it just has so much. Um, maybe we were thinking that, um, look at this, look at all these gauges. It's really fascinating. Franklin said he wants us to all dress up as um, firefighters for Halloween. Drive this thing around. The boys want to drive it to school. And um, um, what's really funny is the girls for the 101st day of school, I just bought them 101 uh, Dalmatian costumes. So we could really get into this for um, Halloween. It is kind of funny to think, it almost seems like it'd be illegal to drive this around because people are probably gonna get out of our way on the road. I don't know. All right, let's see if I can get Greg's attention. Oh, no, it's not working for some reason. Oh, maybe it has to be on. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, Mom, now we have a bus and a fire truck. <laughs>